Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the codename Android ROM on your Motorola Photon 4G. Your Photon must be unlocked and you must have Clockwork Mod installed. Um, I also have a video showing you how to update to the latest version of Clockwork Mod. You need to make sure you do do that. You make sure you're on Clockwork Mod 5.5.0.4. I will link to that video in the description um, of this video. But anyways, what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. And clicking on the link will take you to this website. First of all, shout out to Spleef, good friend of mine, good developer. So big thanks to him for porting this over. Codename Android, as you can see, CNA. Uh, what you're gonna need to do is go ahead and scroll down. We're gonna need to download actually a few files, actually, uh, four of them to be exact. So first of all, what you're going to need um, for fresh install process, which is what I recommend, you'll see um, you'll see that right here, fresh install process. Um, use the Bills Wipe All Zip where it says that. Click on this Mediafire link right here and download that zip. Uh, make sure you download that zip. And once you uh, download that zip, scroll down some more and you'll see Codename Android Mod right here. That's the ROM itself download that file. Also, scroll down and you'll see CNAG Apps Photon. Click on that link right there and download that as well. And then you'll also see Kernel. Click on that link and download that. So there's going to be four files all in all. The Wipe All Zip, the uh, ROM Zip, and the Google Apps Zip, and the Kernel Zip. So all four of those you need. Transfer all four of those onto your SD card or internal SD card, whichever one you use. And once you're done there, go back to your phone. And once we are back to our phone and all of four of those zip files are on our phone, we are ready to go. Go ahead and hit power off or you can hit recovery if your phone allows that. I'm going to go ahead and manually boot into our custom recovery. To do so, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep it held down until you see fast boot up at the top, like so. Now press the volume down button, I think five times, until it says Android Recovery. Once it says Android Recovery right there, press the volume up button. So select the volume up button. That will go ahead and select the Android Recovery and it will enter you into your Android Recovery mode, which would be Clockwork Mod. So let it go ahead and reboot. It should boot you into your Clockwork Mod recovery. As I said, you have to have 5.5.0.4. So make sure you do have this version of Clockwork Mod. Anyways, what we're going to need to do first is go ahead and go down to Backup and Restore and make an Android backup of your current setup. Just in case anything goes wrong, go down to Backup and Restore and then uh, make sure that uh, you basically have an Android backup just in case. Um, I mean, nothing should go wrong, but just in case anything does, we are we are covered. So anyways, what we're gonna need to do now once you have an Android backup, go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card. I have mine on my internal SD card. Then go ahead and find that wipe all photon uh, zip, zip files and select it. Wipe all photon zip and hit yes, install. What that's gonna do is go ahead and wipe everything, your data, your cache, your Dalvik cache, it's gonna format your system. So, as I said, uh, it's gonna wipe everything. So make sure you do have everything backed up, your apps, contacts, etc. And as you can see, install from SD card complete. Once that's done, go back to choose it from internal SD card or SD card. And we are gonna go ahead and flash the ROM. So go ahead and find the ROM zip itself. The, uh, I believe it's called, let me see, what is it called? Um, Codename Android. Uh, mod right there and hit yes install so it's going to go ahead and install that ROM for you It'll take a bit of time actually since it's the full ROM itself um, Photon does take a long time to flash ROM so I'll be back once that's done Please be patient with this install process All right, as you can see install from SD card complete It took a lot quicker than I thought it would and I believe there's a reason for that now Go back to choose it from an internal or external SD card and flash the ROM again So install the ROM file again Just go ahead and navigate to it and then hit yes install and go ahead and install that ROM again So again as I said um, First of all our first step is to flash the wipe all photon zip then go ahead and install the ROM file twice So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install again, and I will be back all right, so as you can see, install from SD card complete again. We are not done yet, though. Go ahead and go back to choose zip again. So, and then find the G apps zip. So you'll see G apps CNA photon.zip. 
select that and then hit yes, install that zip. So again, we're not done. So go ahead and find those Google apps. Basically Google apps will include the Play Store. Um, I believe YouTube maps, not probably not maps actually, probably uh, Google Talk, all those good apps. So as you can see, install from SD card complete. Um, we are still not done yet. Now go ahead and go back to choose zip again and find that kernel file. So it's uh, Oleg, uh, Peter the Bill edited zip and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install the kernel file. This one shouldn't take long at all to install. Um, there we go. So there we go, we are actually almost done. Now go ahead and hit go back, and I believe go to the advanced menu right up here, and then select fix permissions. Uh, once done there, hit go back, and then reboot system now. And we will be done. So that's it. Um, I know it's very, very long, and did take a little bit of time, but we are finally done. So that's, uh, that's the process, basically flash the wipe all zip, then flash the ROM twice, flash the Google Apps, flash the kernel, fix permissions, and reboot. Um, I know that did take a bit of time, but uh, it is necessary to get this ROM going. So as you can see, booting on up has the stock ice cream sandwich boot animation, very cool there. But anyways, I will be doing a separate review video, so definitely going to want to check that out. I will link to that in the description of the video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask, just leave a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. Be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.